ladies and gentlemen, the Dean of the Annenberg School for Communication and Journalism, Ernest J. Wilson III. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this fabulous Southern California day. It's a, it's a pleasure to see all of you here. I want to welcome you to these Annenberg communication ceremonies. This is a very exciting day as we look forward to the future, even as it provides a slightly bittersweet or nostalgic moment as we remember the past several years that we have been together. On the one hand, graduation day is literally a commencement. It's the beginning of all of the exciting and innovative things that all of you will accomplish as you move forward. On the other hand, it's also sort of a conclusion and an ending, the completion of your years at Annenberg. It is the end of one phase and the beginning of another. It is, sli it is slightly bittersweet to my colleagues and to me because we have gotten to know you well during your time that you have spent with us. We've learned of your joys, we've learned of your concerns, and so we really will miss seeing you around the halls of the Annenberg Building. And today we thank you for sharing with us your vitality, your tremendous intelligence, and your commitment to a bright and exciting future. Let me, if I may, add a small personal touch. This is a class that I started with four years ago. So four years ago, I was a freshman dean. And I have uh, always felt myself to be a special member of your class, class of 2011, because we went through those same four years together. So it gives me a special delight to stand before you today. Welcome, of course, into not only the Trojan family, but the Annenberg family. And as you have discovered by now, this is a family that defies time, international boundaries, and culture. I'm taking off my white watch because it said time. I, don't usually, I usually speak for about 90 minutes as a dean, <laughs> but I've been told I have to keep it down to about seven minutes, so I'm putting my watch up here. Uh, the idea of the Trojan family is not a myth. We have all seen it in our own ways. We've experienced it at the wonderful football games that we have attended, but also in the small ways in classrooms and in discussions that we have had with one another over the past four years. And as I travel and privileged to travel around the world, from Chicago to China, and beyond, again and again and again, I see the enthusiasm and the dedication of the Trojan family. There is never a hesitation to help a fellow alum or to advance the goals of the university or the school. Trojans really do carry and display the values of generosity, fairness, public service, and respect for the rights and dignity of all. And especially uh, important, and we have all seen this, is the attribute of Trojan optimism and a can-do attitude. This is a tremendous gift. And now as a full-fledged member, not only of the Trojan family, but of the USC Annenberg family, it is a gift of great value that you will be able to share with others all around the world. Now, this has been a period for communication students of great and tremendous change and really a communication revolution. You embrace this revolution with intelligence, creativity, hard work, and ceaseless curiosity. Your student projects, the student organizations, and the sheer energy that you have displayed over the years have helped to shape the USC Annenberg community into one of the most exciting places in the United States of America. 
to talk about ideas and implement ideas about the revolution in communication. Now you can apply what you have learned out in the real world, as uh, I think Steve Ballmer called it earlier today, uh, in three great areas, innovation, entrepreneurship, and leadership. The motto has to be moving forward, innovate or die, innovate or fail. That doesn't mean that every innovation will be a success. They will be experiments, but all of us are obliged to innovate in this new world that awaits us. You will also use your entrepreneurial skills throughout your life, whether in your own business as an entrepreneur or in a nonprofit organization or a government agency. And whatever forces shape our world in the 21st century, you as professional communicators will be at the center of innovation and leadership and service. And we believe you are well prepared to engage and guide these continuing changes from this day onward. The future for all of you here is yours to invent. Someone said that the, uh, the greatest way to understand the future is to help invent it. And we are confident that you're going to help invent the future that lies ahead. So let us celebrate this bittersweet ending and exciting beginning with joy in our hearts. Over the coming years, my faculty, colleagues, and I look forward to continue celebrating the achievements that await all of you just over the horizon as Annenberg alumni and as members of the Trojan family. Again, let me extend to you, my fellow members of the class of 2011, great luck and great good fortune and to fight on. Thank you. I, before I introduce uh, my colleague uh, Larry Gross, I would like all of the family and friends of our graduates to stand up because they are hugely responsible for all of our successes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, yes, yes. It is, uh, we'll have an opportunity for more communication, I guarantee you, a bit later. But I would like to take this opportunity to introduce a leader, your leader, uh, and an innovator who has played an absolutely critical role in the continued success and the international recognition of USC's Annenberg School of Communication. Of course, I am talking about the director of that school, Professor Larry Gross. Larry Gross is not only an outstanding teacher, but also an unparalleled mentor who has guided scores of students through their seminars, theses, and dissertations. Larry is a recognized scholar in the areas of media and culture, art and communication, visual communication, and media portrayals of minorities. He is also an elected fellow of the International Communication Association, and for 2011-2012, he has been elected as president of the International Communication Association, which is the largest and most prestigious of its type uh, in the world. In his spare time, I put that in quotation marks, Larry also writes a weekly blog for the award-winning website TruthDig and serves as editor for the International Journal of Communication. So please welcome me in welcoming Dr. Larry Gross, the director of the School of Communication. Thank you, Dean Wilson. 
I'm afraid we have to share Dean Wilson with the School of Journalism. So he is on his way over there to give them greetings. We got first dibs, but they, <laughs> they do get him now. Well, welcome to the class of 2011 and to this commencement, which we will now commence. Uh, it is my pleasure and honor to begin by introducing our speaker. I won't recount all of her accomplishments because you can discreetly read them in the program while you're watching many of your fellows and uh, others get received their degrees later on. But Linda Douglas is a really perfect speaker for us, a USC alumna who has had a distinguished career in journalism. Many of us of the parental generation will remember her well on CBS and on ABC, maybe some of the students as well. Uh, she had a distinguished career in radio, but she also went on to a distinguished career in public service working with the Obama campaign and then the Obama administration. And she is now in the private sector as Vice President for Strategic Communications of the Atlantic Media Company. It is a great pleasure to introduce Linda Douglas. Well, thank you so much. And thanks to Director Gross and I also want to thank Dean Ernie Wilson in absentia, since he has apparently deserted us. Uh, but we wish he was here. And I want to thank also my very, very dear and close lifelong friend, uh, former Dean Jeff Cowan, uh, without whom uh, so much of all of what you've experienced here at the Annenberg School would not be possible. And what a place you have created here. It is such a thrill and such an honor to be speaking to this great, great communication school. And as for all of you sitting here today, this is a very competitive school. So you really are the cream of the crop. <laughs> and I'm also particularly proud to be here as a graduate of the University of Southern California, a school that has continued over the years to grow and grow in reputation and academic stature. And thanks to the work of the uh, university administration and the faculty and the very high quality students who attend here, people now think that I was an amazing student. <laughs> so let me tell you, I really want to thank you for letting me bask in your glory. So I do hear that some things here have actually not changed in the 40 years since I was here. Despite the extremely rigorous demands of this university, I am told that professors still know better than to hold classes on Thursday night. <laughs> and apparently that secret USC map that has been handed down from generation to generation still somehow does direct the students to the 9 <laughs> <laughs> Just as it did when I was young, so very, very long ago. So I've been asked to speak here today because over my very long professional career, I really have been involved in every form of communications that you can imagine. When I got out of college, I worked as a gopher in a political campaign where I really got to see the ad men and the strategists and the speech writers search for just the right word, just the right backdrop, just the right image to sell their candidate. I also got to see the reporters try to resist being manipulated by the campaign and try to find out what was going on behind the scenes. It was always a game of cat and mouse and that game goes on today. But after some persistence and some luck, I then was able to land a job in a newsroom uh, back in the days when there were very few women in newsrooms at uh, Channel 2 KCBS here in Los Angeles. My job was to do research and answer the phone from the people who called into the newsroom, and I learned a different form of communications there. I learned the art of the pitch, and those are the appeals that people make when they call and try to get you to cover their story. It had to be short, to the point, it had to be clear, and it had to be credible. I learned a lot from those calls. I also learned that a lot of other people call the news desk uh, and as a result of having talked to so many members of the public, I realize that there's actually a large number of people here in Los Angeles who believe they've seen space aliens. 
I didn't know that before. So this was the 1970s, it was local TV, and I want you to all just visualize the movie Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy, <laughs> because that actually was my life. <laughs> and as luck would have it, I was picked out of the, basically what would be called the secretarial pool to be a reporter, because I did have the one qualification that one needed to be a reporter, uh, a girl reporter in those days, and that is that I was a blonde. <laughs> now, had I been a brunette, I might have been a neurosurgeon. <laughs> but because I was a blonde, I became a blonde girl reporter and covered the kinds of stories that blonde girl reporters covered in those days, the profile of a man who'd figured out how to make a square soft-boiled egg anything to do with baby animals. <laughs> and I did have a boss who would say to me as I dashed out to cover my story, okay, you get out there and scratch that surface. <laughs> Those were my marching orders. But I wanted to do more than just be on TV, and I did do investigative stories, and I covered government and politics at every level, local, state, presidential campaigns, and there I really did learn the power of words and images, how just a couple of minutes on television can topple a candidate, can generate an outpouring of support for a cause, can force a change in local laws, can make people cry or make them angry or make them laugh. I went to Washington where I covered the Congress and there I became something of an expert in the difference between what politicians say and what they mean and there is a difference. And I did see governance turn into a blood sport where today the primary aim of each party is to obliterate the other. That's what it's become. So I left journalism nevertheless and got into politics myself and as you heard I traveled with then Senator Obama on the presidential campaign and there I saw firsthand how hard it is for a candidate to say what he wants to say and have it heard the way he wants it to be heard. I really did come to understand that politics is a communications minefield where anything a candidate says can blow up in his face or be used as a weapon either by his opponent or by the media. I spent a year in the White House trying very hard <laughs> to communicate to people why it was important to have access to health insurance. And there I learned that uh, it is stunning uh, what people are willing to believe. There really were, at the very end of that process, still a fairly large number of Americans who believed that we were trying to put into place death panels whose fiendish goal was to pull the plug on grandma, according to one senator who actually did say that. So these days, I'm an executive in a media company, and it is the most exciting uh, time in media and in communications that I have witnessed over my lifetime. We are now seeing the transformation from print and broadcast to the digital, mobile, reader-engaged, wiki world. The race, and this is what all of you are going to be dealing with now, all of you in this room, the race to be heard, to have your news or your opinion or your message or your sales pitch break through, that is now central to every kind of business. So you're gonna leave here today with a degree in communications. And rather than talk to you about the business world you're gonna be facing, I, I'd just like to ask you to ask yourselves a very important question. What do you wanna use your power for? Your power to communicate? Because it's a very potent power. And you can use that power to inform, or to persuade, or to educate, or to advocate. Or you can misuse that power to deceive, and distort, and dissemble. And you're going to be surprised how tempting it is to do that. In my 30 years of covering politics, I've witnessed what I think is a very disturbing change in values. Back in the day, reporters used to be disdainful of the spin doctor the political operative, cynical, and calculated attempt to make a deliberately false characterization of his candidate's strengths or the opponent's weakness. But these days, the political media seem to admire a good spinner. The more transparently manipulative, the better, because it's more fun to watch. There are books now devoted to clever spinning and manipulation. 
The spinners of both political parties are on cable every single day. The audaciously clever half-truth is often more admired in today's political media climate than is truthfulness. There is grudging respect for the message guru who persuades people to believe things, something that isn't really true. There's a legendary political operative whose name was Lee Atwater back in the 80s, and he like, used to like to say that perception is reality. And amazingly, we've come to accept that, and I think that's unfortunate. So you may be tempted to use your communication skills, whether in business or politics or law or advocacy, to muddy the truth rather than to serve it up nice and clean. And some people may want to pay you to obfuscate. And I hope you say no. So whether you're the financial executive who is explaining how your company makes money, or whether you're an advocate advocating for a cause, or whether you are a political operative explaining your candidate's position, or whether you're the PR person trying to defend your company's actions, tell the truth, because you're going to be surprised what power that has. Now, in my current line of work, which is strategic communications, we actually think the truth is an effective tool in our box of tools. There's actually a fundamental rule in my world, the communications world. No matter how damaging the story is, get it out there, tell the truth, tell it first. Because that way, you will diffuse the curiosity about what happened. So no matter how you plan to use your power to communicate, you will find that the truth actually makes things simple. For example, it's easy to remember. You know, you don't have to keep trying to remind yourself of what your story is. And if you ever feel conflicted, there's just a simple rule to follow. If you have to ask yourself whether it's the right thing to do, it's probably not. So you've chosen to get degrees in something that permeates everything we do in today's life. And whether you're communicating with the financial markets or with the public or just with your family and friends, remember, you are having an impact on what they think and what they believe. Now, the ways in which we communicate have changed in those 40 years since I was walking around this campus in a mini skirt and plastic boots. <laughs> because back in those days, there were no cell phones, no computers, no internet, no cable TV. So who knows what's gonna happen in the next 40 years, and maybe we will evolve by then in 40 years into a species with big strong thumbs because we've spent decades madly texting each other on our mobile devices. And maybe one of you will be standing here in 40 years uh, delivering the commencement address to the Annenberg School, only you'll be doing it telepathically, not speaking. <laughs> or you'll be standing in a faraway location and you'll appear as a hologram. So who knows what techniques and technology may come in the future, but one thing should not change. And that is your resolve to live a professional life of integrity. So use your power to be clear, illuminating, persuasive, inspiring, and most of all, honest. And do that and you're going to live up to the great values that you've learned here at this really high quality, esteemed communication school, the Annenberg School, and this great, great university, uh, the University of Southern California. So thank you for making all the rest of us USC alums so proud. Good luck to you and fight on. I'd like to introduce the class of 2011 Will the candidates for degree of Doctor of Philosophy please stand and remain standing? Will the candidates for the degree of Master of Arts please rise and remain standing? All the master's degrees. Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts please rise?
the class of 2011. Please be seated. I'd like to ask the faculty to please rise. Thank you. Thank you. We will now confer the degrees, beginning with the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. In this instance, the students or the, the graduates will have be hooded as they are. Well, we will. So, come on. <laughs> it took you long enough to, you know. <laughs> Joy Chatterjee. <laughs> Professor Michael Cody is hooding Joy. <laughs> this is a good time to point out the procedure. There will be a photograph taken at this point and then a second photograph taken down at the next point and you will receive copies of these photographs from the school. John Cheney Leopold. John will be hooded by Sarah Benet Weiser. <laughs> Lauren Bethany Frank. Lauren will be hooded by Professor Sheila Murphy. Congratulations. Deborah Hannon. Lauren will be hooded, I'm sorry, Laura. Deborah will be hooded by Sarah Benet Weiser. Yes, yes. Shauna Kathleen Kelly. Shauna will be hooded by Professor Doug Thomas. <laughs> Lauren Bree Movius. Lauren will be hooded by Professor Manuel Castells. <laughs> Joe Jin Foa. <laughs> Joe will be hooded by Professor Michael Cody. Rabindra Ratan with Atticus. <laughs> Atticus will be hooded by Dimitri Williams. Robbie may get to hold the.
Janelle Suzanne Shu. Nicole Brooke Usher, whom I get the hood. May Kitty Jo will be hooded by Professor Goodnight, by Tom Goodnight. confer the degree of Master of Arts in Communication. Michael McGee. Maura Klosterman. We will now confer the degree of Master of Public Diplomacy. The degrees will be given by Professor Nicholas Cull. Todd Lindgren. <laughs> Hyung Chu Park. Silva Sevlian. <laughs> Talin Ananian. <laughs> Babita Dillon. <laughs> Regina Guzman. Mariana Gonzalez Insue. Mark Preston. Marissa Cruz Enriquez. Katerina Jawa Harlal. Martha Adams. <laughs> Helen Taldesta. <laughs> Diana Simonian. <laughs> Sona Krikorian Binalti. Elizabeth Lazon. <laughs> Melanie Selick. <laughs> Daniel Smith. <laughs> Renee Lee. Yeah. 
Mohammed. Chanel Mohammed. Cesar Corona. Chen Chen. Jacqueline Burkett. Candice Burnham. Yasmin Tavakoli. Pavel Valovich. Maya Venu Babla. The degree of Master of Global Communication will be awarded by Professor Patricia Riley. Tariq Shama. Dima Issa. Dickerson Princess Falls Shu Lin Nan Liang Lauren Sozo. Jacqueline Ann Smith. Suzanne King. Yasko Murai. Meredith Bailey. <laughs> David McDougall. <laughs> Stephanie Dixon. <laughs> Stacy Goldstein. Ashley Moore. Brian Vieira. Carrie Mathers Suter Robbins. Bailey Phelps. Sheila Catherine Grady. Danielle Blumen. Bettina Papirio. Robin Abzug. Sherry Xiao. Meng Wang. Ka Li. Shutong Zhang. 
Changye Hu. Andrew Rogers. Trista Van Tyne. Preeti Agrawal. John Wee. Lee Shin Yi. Catherine Chamberlain. Richard Bloom. We'll now confer the degree of Master of Communications Management. Deborah D. Lawler. Tyler Warnock. Hila Arshadnya. <laughs> Tiffany Matlub. <laughs> Corey Welsh, progressive degree. <laughs> Ashley Prescott, progressive degree. Danny Elias Azar, progressive degree. Perry Byrne Johnson, progressive degree. Jessica Marie La Barbera, progressive degree. <laughs> Melissa Ann Gibbs, progressive degree. Kaylin Alyssa McLennan, progressive degree. Sarah Beth Herman, progressive degree. Rachel Amy Herman, progressive degree. Deborah Karen Herman, progressive degree. Alexandra Nicole Aesa, progressive degree. Catherine Rose Bell, progressive degree. Chelsea Kirkendall, progressive degree. Ravity Kadu. Shao Chu Hu. Janelle Morgan. Li Fang He. Xing Chang. Mount John. Liu. Mao Qi Liu.
Isha Chung. Shen Li. Veronica Yadwe Boyeri. Reagan Smith. Lucia Florindez. Lauren Balinson. Mika Weinstein. Nadine Malik. Shayna Lauren Fenston. Erica Rachel Smith. Erin Loveridge. Andrew Tomlin. Chris Lamb. Kayleen Elizabeth Ogden. Dustin Robert Longest. Aline Liana Abkarian. Channing Alexandria Bias. Kamisha Harris. Jun Shu. Jen Han Huang. Timothy Lee Conley. Michelle Goldberg. Excuse me, Michelle Goldenberg. Janice Hiromi Reynold. Ivy Pollock. Chao Chung. Monisha Hobbs. Minju. Meng Zen. Taryn Tarnutzer. Christina Weibrecht. Sahar Kazani. Henry Riadi. Lauren Elizabeth Schultz. Diana Raspot. Daniel Wade Hampton. Chayun Lin. Yuju Lin.
shouting life. Shaolun Kao. Yushen Wang. Haitian Lin. Si Shane Wu. Martha Adams. Christian Natividad. Thomas Burns Progressive Degree. Joshua Lamar Cox. Ashley Nicole Chan, progressive degree. Jess Edmund Wilson. Blake Anderson. Jessica Corey Marquez. Lisa Ann Jacobs. Jasmine Simpson. Eileen Kwong. Marina Nicole Donkey. Fabiana Flores. Roy Chung. Meng Li. Hoyan Calista Chung. Zhao Hoi Tang. Brianna Handler. Yeah. Su Liu. Nicole Chung. Samantha Ann Fells. Han Chien. Amy Kristen Lee. Alexander Patrick Feufer. Brianna Lauren Lassig. Matthew Leahy. Marlene Vigil. Ugochi Amuta. Adrian Eng. Stephen Preware. Jessica Jumi Kim. Robert McCall. Jonathan Franks. Thank you very much. 
Daniela Arellano. Shannon Flaxman. Shanmin Sho. Reeves Ronser. Shengnan Bai. Anthea Hoirang Shu. Cici Zhao. Yue Tao. Uchenna Oyendu Nude. Stacy Komai. Maria D. Mempin. Peter Hartwich. Aditi Joshi. Jennifer Tucker Nakal. Fiona Lynn Ferrier. Dajung Park. Suping Shong. Xuan Hao. Chia Hui Huang. Li Jen Stanley Chien. Pinching Ginger Lin. Sichi Amber Chen. Lixiang Natalie Lo. Wanda Wong. Shaling She. Valerie Ann Howard. Kenneth Andrew Howard. Changlin Huang. Ying Sun. Jin Jin Li. Sakura. Anasa, Mohammed Grant. Megan Duanes. Brianne Grady. Sohyun Choi. Hui Lin. Huang Yi Nan. Jessica Lu. Lei Wu. Scott Graves.
Okay. We will now begin conferring the degree of Bachelor of Arts of Communication. The first, the first degree we will confer today is a very special one and a bittersweet one for all of us. Tim Miller was a longtime staff member at the Annenberg School, much beloved of the students, the faculty, and the staff. And Tim also enrolled as a student in the Annenberg School where he was excelling. He had wonderful qualities that we all appreciated. Warmth, integrity, and a real dedication to the ideals of the school. We were enormously saddened when Tim died last year. But we are also very pleased and glad that the university is conferring the degree of Bachelor of Arts posthumously on Tim Miller. And I'd like his family to come up and receive the degree. We have a tradition that when students are graduating whose parents or grandparents or sometimes uncles are members of the faculty that we give them the opportunity to present a degree. So the first degree of Bachelor of Arts will be presented by Professor Manuel Castells. Sasha Kanovalova. Michael Dylan Suro. This degree will be presented by Professor Roberto Suro. <laughs> Deepti Kauligi. The degree will be presented by Professor Rago Kauligi. Lauren Marie Zier. The degrees will be presented by Professor Ken Serino. Mary Olivia Quinn. <laughs> Phil Shaben. Kenneth Badia. Daniela Saidi. Jennifer Matlou. Natalie Gumliel. Yeah. 
so are we. You want to do something now? Yeah. Okay. All right. The next degree will be presented by Professor Gerald Medioni. Eric Medioni. <laughs> Mingyan Lam. Menyin Lydia Learn. <clears throat> Checky Loud. <laughs> Shang An Chiar. <laughs> Isabella Lai. Michelle Arbor. Marissa Lini Hui. Alicia Faye Leslie. Mila Zinzi Giefner. Gaffner. <laughs> Melanie Joel Axelgard. <laughs> Veronica Gonzalez. <laughs> Lauren Marie Korbatov. Elsa O'Callaghan. Michael Buccellis. Akfa Khan. Andrea Danti Nguyen. Christine Wayan Nip. Sunmi Lillian Holmes. Aaron Parker. Samantha Landau. <laughs> Natalie Madavi. <laughs> Scott Hummel. <laughs> Joy Moon. Yak Poldma. Sarah Hart. Sarah Ostreich. Alana. Jamisha, Germany. Morgan Lamarchon. Gina Renee Mazella. Alicia Mai Matsumoto. Brianna Allison Baker. Lacey Ann Brady Hanna.
Rebecca Patrice Springer. Alexandra Paige Schiffman. Jordan Elise Friedman. Evan Paley. Josh Benjamin Tucker. Adam Neuroff, Sean. Dustin Lawrence. Brandy Vicks. <laughs> Tiffany Matlube. <laughs> Corey Welsh. <laughs> Brianna Lynn Gutman. Megan Nicole Tellis. Kristen Hiller. Sherwin Cordian. Louis Al Hafid. <laughs> Jenna Milanese. <laughs> Lauren Alexandra Hayes. Lindsay Howie. Cassandra Vargas. Torin Ludwig. Dylan Royal. Jonathan Rowe. Renee Michelle Edgren. Kara Allen Larmy. Yossi Mostel. Adrian Hannah Shauli. <laughs> Tiffany Wexler. <laughs> Brindley Michelle Larger Reuter. Dylan Sigmund Rubin. <laughs> Jamie Kate Groomer. <laughs> Neil K. Sawney. <laughs> Courtney Aaron Ramos.
Amy Elizabeth Fell. Elisa Gail Swamp Soam. Patrick Joseph Kelly Strapazone. Melissa Ashley Curtis. Shayla Jordan Bloom. <laughs> Kelly Alice K. Cool. Amanda Terry Purvis. Avery Cusen Rowe. Ariana Nicole Corrigan. Carrie LaPlante. Max Wallace. Celeste Manzano. Isabel Huang. Christina Angel Hua. Arnella Sulovich. John Alexander Stegging. Cynthia Abneev Momjan. Muhar Zaytunyan. <laughs> Chloe Brooks. <laughs> Arena Kim. Aaron Domash. Janice Learn. Aina Wang. Alexandra Aesa. Alexandra Narma. Summer J.D. Sorensen. Kaylin McLennan. Nicholas Andres McManus. Morgan Alexandra Plank. Bianca Gabrielle Bersner. Levieu Oliver Barbicaru. David Gershuni. Emily Wisner. Michael Lewis Bellings.
Allison Suhu. Christopher Ryu Tai. Anna Chia Lee. Nicholas Alexandrov. <laughs> Kelly Wild Anthony. <laughs> Yasmin Alshawa. Nicole Feliciano Dilo. <laughs> Ashley Rose Ian Davis. <laughs> Samantha Ashley Cañas. Jennifer Chow. Caitlin Mary Drajescu. Isaac On. Julia Allen. Steven Mukino. Craig Babilowitz. Jane Vieira. Sharon Sue. Monette Ng. Morgan Weiner. Marcus McIntyre Payne. Jared Gregorio Neumeyer. Brandis Ann Ingram. Francesca Gria. John Bowling. Derek Anthony Vikas. Jennifer May Winston. <laughs> Nerea Elise. Adiamba Otiera. Rebecca Lee Johnson. Kendall Hargrove. Branche Faustin. Simone Dominique Besant.
Stephen Griffin. Carrie Graco. Jacqueline Sarkeesian. Pamela Ann Garcia. Alexandra Alice Battelle. Brittany Amanda Berman. Kim Alicia King Carter Diane Huang Crystal Cornelius Eric Dean Dressler. April Leanne Alba. Jazz White. TJ Bryant. Marquez Alexa Christina Altamira Corey Ashton Augustus James Crumpled. Laureen Elizabeth Sapa. Amy Jean Beckman. Dominique Nan. Larson Sheba to Harazad again Lauren Palfrey Davia Kelsey Kramer. Alexandra Teresa Mateo. Giovanni Garlarza Jr. Michael David Garcia. Christina Page Felice. Allison Courtney Foss.
Maggie H. Wong. Stephanie Y. Lung. Bianca Hayes. <laughs> Catherine Shay McDonald. <laughs> Brittany Lauren Lane. Elizabeth Larson. Michelle Planton. Carolyn Thatcher. Alexandra Zamaria. Jordan Lee Rabinovich. Blair Elizabeth Tarnetzer. Kara Bittner. Anjali Gill. Kate Choi. <laughs> Stephanie Corey. <laughs> Stephanie Arias. <laughs> Jennifer Gomez. Vanessa Tan. Jenna Toshe. Kamala Kirk. Irene Fung. Judy Wang. Hestia Rojas. Natalie Azmitia. <laughs> Katia Castorina. <laughs> Michelle Anna Malkazian. Nancy Lemus. <laughs> Tanya Proudy. <laughs> Tanaya Brookout. Yoman Michael Deloroso Eva Michelle Davis Andrew K Chung Anne 
Yvonne, Christine, Austria. Linda, Tania, Cordera. Grace, Yoon, Jean, Yang. Danielle, Taylor. Nicholas, Gregory, Millie Layler. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Miller Layler. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sarah, Eliana, Bennett. Courtney, Carol, Lad, Rainfrank. Amelie, Luis, Lemulek. Hebu, Fatima, Samad. Leah, Jane, Kenkin. Tina, Lynn, Zhang. <laughs> Tiffany, Jade, Cheng. <laughs> Lindsay, Marie, Chapman. Vanessa Marie Haddad. George Bowman de Huff, the fourth. Shannon Michelle Lane. Brianna Deanne Bentley. Jason Reed Heim. Sarah Catherine Mullen. Alexis Carr. Willie Nicole Larson. <laughs> Yvonne Claire Dean. Jane Kim. <laughs> Michelle Chung. Victoria Rose Elliott. Kelsey Lynn Anderson. Annie Yuen. Sean Jackson. Katrina Ong Yu. <laughs> Nadia Amadi. <laughs> Madeline Elizabeth Pryor.
Elizabeth Blair Goodrich. Alana J. Goldenberg. Peter Bradley Radasio. Kyle Jordan Vincent Hinden. Stacy Giselle Marie Ugardi. Olivia Lee Trevino. Taylor Alexandria Ratcliffe. Juana Angelica Escobar. Elaine Jessica Cruz. Kenya Jeanette Cusades. Kristen Michelle Evans. Lee Antoinette Lockhart. Camelia Abu Oda. Charlene Fowler. Jerome Aitan Ashkenazi. Marshall Bender Kellner. Alexandra Demartini, Anna Poloski. Chelsea Elizabeth Hamill. Ashley Camille Cassidy. Anastasia Harrell. Crystal Small. Erica Smith. Taylor Stacy. Rachel Elizabeth S. Berman. <laughs> Lindsay Michelle Soltzi. <laughs> Kyo Gyo Min Ko. Anna Elizabeth Levine. Mary Margaret Burkhead. Allison Ann Bullock. Kaylin Lowe Gustafson. Alexandra Lee Russo. Ashley Elizabeth Strumweiser.
Emily Leviton. Juliana Maria Donal. Rachel Brooke Saltzman. Kira Thompson. Olivia Rice Pete. Tiffany Fang. Erin Alyssa Calvaro Legman. Maria Stephanie Faith Patty Viegas Quimson. Lisa Renee Barton. Michael Thorpe Thompson. Eliza Christine Hunt. Megan Kathleen Johnson. Allison Daniel. Kyle Perry. Fred Zahadinia. David Michael McCulka. Mika Lewis. Christopher Poussin. Funru Sharon Tusong. Emiliano Hernandez Rios. Laura Larson Miller. Ashley Kenyon. Katie Nicole Seiden. Jennifer Lauren Junger. Benjamin Drew Horowitz. Jared Sandler. Parker Jackson Adams. Dave Peterson. Elizabeth Ray Peterson. Neely Ann Schneidman. Michael Connor DeGroote. Luke Tanner. Kevin Little. Peter Boomer Repke. Pharrell Davies. (laughs) 
Tumua Ali Anai. Kyle Charles Natty Pitson. Robert Lucas Chaplin. Laurel Margaret West. Sarah Lauren Baldoni. Ryan Blakemore. Ho Wei Ing. Kelly Taylor Christian. Stephanie Lori Bertrand. Kimberly Danielle Rolleder. Gina St. Clair Urango. Ellie Duran. Joe DePinto. Garrett David Houts. <laughs> Sarah Manchendu. <laughs> Nupra Sabra. Prague, Pessa Shaw. Nicole Elizabeth Tam. Jenna Wade Johnston. Kim Fortston. <laughs> Sophia Verani. <laughs> Whitney Goodman. <laughs> Jane Thornton. Congratulations to the class of 2011. Please join us for a reception outside the tent on the left and keep in touch. <laughs>